different parts of Oklahoma have different growing requirements, so we're going to need different types of plants for different areas. We saw earlier in the year when we were out at the Panhandle the different types of plants that they have to use out there. Well, in the western part of the state, more particularly here in Clinton, Oklahoma, we're at the nursery of Steve Bieber, and we're going to just look at some of the more unique trees that he carries for this part of the state. And we'll just start with uh, this tree right here, Steve. I hardly ever see this one for sale anywhere, but uh, you have a few here. This is Chittam wood, Bumelia lunuginosa. And really this is kind of a little native plant that I, I think is really neat. The, the, the really the use for it is a wildlife plant. This, okay. this plant will fill up with little purple berries along in the fall and when the migrating songbirds come through, they really enjoy this plant. And it's real tough, it's kind of an irregular little grower, but it's a, certainly good for wildlife gardens. A very tough tree. Okay. And quite a quite a selection here. We have a lot of our American elm selections, you know, that are the disease-resistant American elms. This one's Valley Forge. We also have New Harmony, which uh, don't get the the Dutch elm disease, which were uh, wiping out the other. Yeah, that's American wiped out elms. all the American elms. But these are are resistant to it, and uh, these were in, introduced by the National Arboretum and make a great big giant tree. Uh, okay. Caddo sugar maple. This is a, a selection that we've sold a lot for years and years. It, it's a sugar maple that uh, is real tolerant to the western soils. It's native right here in Caddo County. And uh, we really feel like it's a, a super tree for real dry, alkaline sites. And this Beautiful has been a fall color. Great fall color. And it's been a tree that's, uh, that's really done good for us for over the years. Oh, this is kind of an interesting little plant, Steve. This is a, a little seeded walnut. It's and this incredible is a, that that's a walnut. Yeah. Hard to th believe. Th this is a, a selection that we made from out in New Mexico and we call it prairie fern. It has this beautiful little lacy foliage and we graft this onto regular uh, microcarpal rootstocks. It makes a real small, real fuzzy little tree. It's super tough. This thing will grow with almost no water at all. These are actually, I think, uh, native in the Wichita Mountains? Right, right. They're native to the western part of the state. Okay. Yes. This is western soapberry, another good wildlife tree. Very tolerant to our growing conditions out here in the, in the west. It has beautiful yellow uh, fruits in the fall. Uh, one of the one of the good uh, uh, wildlife plants that we recommend. I recognize this one from uh, over in eastern Oklahoma. My parents have a lot of this on uh, their property. This is a common name for this is Indian cherry or uh, Carolina buckthorn. Uh, we've really been happy with this plant. It's native to Oklahoma. It has beautiful glossy dark green leaves all year round, and it sets a, a crop of real beautiful fruit that are they're red during most of the summertime, and then late in the season they get kind of black, and they're also uh, really liked by wildlife. We've got this in the Oklahoma Proven Trials at OSU, and uh, Dr. Snelly is reporting that this is really doing great, and so we feel like this is a great small tree for, for gardening here. I, I love the, uh, the, the beautiful uh, color of the leaves. Yeah, that, great. That darker green. Great fall color. Got uh, one of our Oklahoma Proven trees. Ball cypress? Yeah. Now this is this is the Frio River strain of ball cypress that you know we've talked about before, and it's a really a good tree for our area, and uh, it's uh, easy to grow and tolerates our alkaline soils a lot better. Absolutely. And, uh, it gives you a uh, kind of a real fluffy uh, conifer look to it. A unique uh, deciduous uh, conifer. Yes. Uh, this is uh, Chinese pistache. You know this is, was our first Oklahoma proven selection, and uh, does great in western Oklahoma, and uh, we've. Uh, We've sold a lot of these over the years, and everybody's real happy with them. Again, a very uh, beautiful fall color associated with this tree. Got some elms here, and then some lace uh, barks and unique uh, yeah, yeah, these live are, oak. Yeah, this is ball cypress. I mean, this is uh, live oak from the Quartz Mountain area. This is uh, we call it Quartz Mountain live oak, and it's a uh, called Fusiformis, and it's the most cold hardy of all the live oaks uh, that you can grow. And uh, we have these growing as far north as Wichita, Kansas. And so it's an evergreen oak that's uh, very attractive, a uh, little bit slow growing, but a super uh, long life tree that's, that's a broadleaf evergreen. A lot of people are probably familiar with the, uh, the large live oaks down in Louisiana and southern Texas with the, the Spanish moss hanging in the, the limbs. But uh, we have one that's uh, native to Oklahoma. That, yeah. uh, Won't see any Spanish moss on it here, no. but uh, certainly uh, it's, it is a live oak and it, it'll tolerate our conditions here much better. Okay. And this is the, our tree of the year, Oklahoma proven tree of the year. This is a bur oak. And this is probably one of the most 
noble, majestic, big oak trees that you can plant. If you have room for a large tree, the old burrow will be here for 200 years, and it's just it's a it's a just a, a wonderful old specimen tree. And I, I really don't think I can say enough for the for the old burrow. It's it's what all of our uh, communities should have in their in their public spaces for a tree that will give you a lot of weight in your community and be there for many generations. One of the toughest, most rugged trees we can probably find. Super tree. Native, this, this extends its range further out into the plains than any oak species. And I okay. think this is great for western Oklahoma or, or really for any part of Oklahoma that you have a lot of room and you need a big tree. Okay. Well, Steve, I appreciate you uh, showing us your uh, collection of trees here. Well, I appreciate it. I'm glad you all could come by. Right.